it's kind of working. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, oh jeez. Uh oh. Oh, hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. I got a lot of requests from you guys for another Will It Cotton Candy video. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Over here, I've got my commercial grade cotton candy machine, you guys, and a whole bunch of new candies that we're going to try out. So now, without further ado, let's try some candies to see if little cotton candy. Usually when you make cotton candy, you use loose granulated sugar and it can even come in different colors and flavors. You pour into the center of the cotton candy machine because it heats up and it spins and then you get your cotton candy fluff. But kind of by accident over the years, we've been playing with different candies, tossing them inside and seeing which ones will actually turn into cotton candy. The first candy that I wanna try, lemon heads. These are classic, these are iconic. My mom is super attached Italian. She loves lemons and she loves lemon heads. So we are gonna see if these little guys I'm reading the back of the box. The first ingredient is sugar. So Fingers crossed. And to even help these out, I'm gonna crush them up just a little bit. I got high hopes for this. Okay, I'm gonna put them in a little baggie right here. I'm gonna give them a little crush up. Here we go. Crush, crush, crush. Now it's not perfect, but I'm really trying to help this candy out. Now we're gonna turn this bad boy on. We're gonna heat it up, get it spinning, and see if lemon heads will cotton candy. Whoa! Okay, here we go. It's working! Yes, lemon heads! I feel so professional, Mike. I know how to do the twirl. I got my dome. Okay, all right. I think that's it. Ooh! <laughs> oh, happy day, you guys. Lemon heads can cotton candy. This is amazing. It looks great, but let's take a taste. Oh my God, it tastes just like a lemon head. Ooh, I almost feel like it's more tart. Whoa, I don't know if it's just been a long time since I've had a lemon head or if in this form it's more tart, but it's really tart, like Sour Patch Kid tart. Mike, do you wanna try it? My boyfriend Mike loves lemonade and he loves tart lemonade. So Mike, is this too tart for you? This is one of the best ones we ever made. <gasps> it's a win! Next candy that we're gonna try to cotton candy Hard candy lifesavers. I don't know about you guys, but these are nostalgic candy for me. I've never gotten the big bag of them. Usually I just get them in a little roll. I'm hopeful because the first ingredient is sugar. <laughs> this could happen. So the flavors we've got here are cherry, raspberry, watermelon, orange, and pineapple. And I have decided I'm just gonna mix all of them. We're gonna get a combo flavor. So I'm gonna open all these up and crush them and then we're gonna be ready to go. We've got our shot glass of crushed lifesavers. Now, let's turn this on, pour it in, and see what we get. Hopefully cotton candy. Whoa, huh? Oh, I see some strands. Oh, okay. Oh, it's kind of working. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, ow. Oh, ow, 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 that's hot. Okay, wait, it doesn't come out very evenly. I'm pretty sure I have cotton candy up my nose. And then my eyelashes, I have edible eyelashes now observation the color is really pretty we got this beautiful pink bubblegum color the texture is a little off it's a little heavier it made it harder to like, made it harder to go on here it did cotton candy and now for the taste test this is the fun part mm. oh that's good so far you guys this is my favorite tasting one because this one's more dense if you put it in a cup or you sold it like in a tub, this would do really well. Otherwise, it's too heavy. It just can't even stay on this stick. Look at this. If all the other candies fail, I'm fine with that because we've had two epic wins. So, no big D. Next up, we have Betty Crocker Rainbow Sprinkles. I got excited because the first ingredient is sugar. And I thought about it. Yeah, they're just little sugars. This could work. Yeah, sprinkles are basically candy, but I will say Betty Crocker has fooled me before. All growing up, I thought Betty Crocker was a real person. Turns out, no, it's not a real person. It's a character. So we're going to see if this really works. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe I should have got a funnel. No, I'll use my hand as a funnel. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's turn this on and try these out. Here goes nothing. Betty Crocker 
rainbow sprinkles do not cotton candy. I was reading one of the ingredients is a type of wax, carbonua wax, and I've noticed that some of the candies with this wax ingredient don't cotton candy, so maybe it doesn't allow the particles to like separate or do whatever, but my whole house smells burnt now. I'm gonna have to clean this out. This is all burnt and gross. All right, that was a fail. Next candy we're gonna try to cotton candy are Tic Tacs. I used to eat these all the time in middle school. This was a big deal, and they're kind of minty. Ooh, this could be fun. Okay, the first ingredient is sugar. So this might work. I'm trying to see what else we got here. Oh, I see some kind of a gum, but I don't know what kind. Oh, I see a carbonara wax. Oh, carbonara wax. That's not the word, but we shall see. Woo, we've got crushed up Tic Tacs. Let's turn this puppy on. All right, here we go. Oh, it smells good. It smells so minty. here but the candies have not changed at all usually by now the candies melt a little bit or do something but they look exactly like I just crushed them up and poured them in there so I'm gonna let it heat a little longer than normal just to see if that helps it tic tacs are heat resistant you guys the smell is great but it's not doing anything oh 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 it's doing something <laughs> some more heat. Confirmed. Tic Tacs cotton candy. Let's take a taste. Oh my gosh, this is great. I love it. Minty cotton candy is amazing because you get a little treat and then boom, your breath is like <sighs> icy fresh. I love this. Mm. Tic Tacs were a win. This one also wins most messy awards. We tried minty candy. Now let's try spicy. We're gonna try atomic fireballs. They're cinnamony and they're another classic. And <gasps> first ingredient, sugar. We got some other stuff I can't pronounce. So let's try. I crushed up some fireballs and now let's give it a go. Oh, oh, it's going. Right away, this smells like a spiced holiday candle. Oh, look at the color, wow. it's beautiful. We got another win. I don't think people look like this when they operate the machines, but I do. Well, it cotton candied. Fireballs cotton candy. Oh, this is awesome. It tastes just like the candy, but I think even better. All right, now on to the next candy. The next candy that we're gonna try is a classic and was my favorite movie candy growing up, Red Vines. They're too big to put in the machine, so let's chop them up. I've got high hopes, let's try it. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. I can do this. Oh. Oh. Oh, it smells burnt. <laughs> Smells like burnt licorice. Nothing came out. It's smoking. Red Vines definitely didn't cotton candy, and as it's spinning around and heating in here, it is just burning. It's smoking, there's smoke coming up, and it smells burnt, and I can see in the metal ring in the middle, and it's red and it's turning brown. It's just burning, and burnt licorice is Poo, pooey, pooey. It's worse than burnt popcorn, everybody. Don't do it. Red Vines does not cotton candy. Okay, so this is gonna take like 20 minutes to clean, so hold on, I'll be back. The next candy that we're gonna try are butterscotch candies. These are hard candies. These are the candies that my grandmother loved, and so do I. <laughs> I'm hoping for butterscotch cotton candy, and it's just so good. I've crushed some up here, so let's turn it on. See what we get. Here we go. Oh, 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 yes! Oh! The molecules are heavier, so they're staying at the bottom and also hitting me in the face. Oh my goodness. Oh, but it's doing it, it's cotton candying. Oh, gee, oh, geez. Oh, this is just turning a little wild. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. All right, it's official. Butterscotch hard candies, can cotton candy, but it's definitely really heavy, you guys. Like, the little sugars that got stretched out, all the little molecules, they just weigh more. I just gotta kind of squish it. There we go. <laughs> if I was working the carnival, you don't want to come to my booth. Let's taste it. Oh my gosh. 
sauce. It's so good. Are you my new favorite? You might be. I have butterscotch in my eyes, in my eyebrows, in my hair, my lips, my nose. I have butterscotch literally everywhere and I love it. All right, this is a win. Let's try another one. Next candy, Hi Chews. We're gonna see if these can cotton candy. All right, so we've chopped up a bunch of them. Hi Chews are fun because they have different colors in the middle. I don't know if that's gonna affect them, but here's a little, it's like white on the outside and it has a color on the inside that usually matches the flavor. Let's turn it on, see if we get some cotton candy. Kinda. Oh my goodness, it's spouting out really aggressively on the sides of the bowl, but it's not floating. So this is a very heavy candy, but it looks like there's natural sugar, everybody. Oh, ow! There we go. So does it cotton candy? Kinda. It got the flossiness, right? Like this is the floss that we're going for, but it's really heavy. It's out of the ones that actually cotton candy, it's one of the heaviest, the densest. So we didn't get a big cotton candy floof. We just got a little one and it's very heavy. But basically the floss, like it looks like a cobweb inside of the cotton candy machine. Let's taste this very sad looking cotton candy. Like, would you be so depressed if you went to the fair and you're like, oh, mom, can I have a cotton candy? And she's like, sure. And then they handed you this. <laughs> like, here you go. <laughs> it's just a little depressing. But okay, we'll see if it tastes good. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It tastes so good. It tastes like the candy. The flavor is great. The texture is just terrible. So I'm gonna say, did this cotton candy? Kinda. I mean, this was a woo. I'm pushing it. Technically, it flossed. You can see the flossy flossy. It kind of reminds me of like fake snow. Like it's like just not it, you guys. But it does taste good. Next up, Mentos. And we're gonna be trying the fruit flavored ones. I've chopped up a bunch. Is it gonna cotton candy? Is it gonna cotton candy? Here we go. It's doing it. <laughs> it worked. I'm shocked because I did not think these were gonna work. The first ingredient is sugar. So it turns out, Mentos, you can make cotton candy out of them. Oh, oh wow, this is delicious. I need another bite. Mmm. <laughs> this really caught me off guard. I didn't think this one was gonna work. Mentos can cotton candy. Let me know in the comments down below, have you ever heard of this candy? Have you ever tried it? Because I grew up eating this, it's Juju Fruits. These are gummy candies. They have different fruit flavors, but what's really unique is that one of their flavors is anise, which is licorice. Licorice is one of those things, it's polarizing. You either hate it or you love it, and I personally love it. So also let me know in the comments down below. Let's do a black heart if you love licorice, and then if you don't love licorice, let's just do a thumbs down. There's a lot of fruit flavor. So we're just gonna be using the black licorice ones because I want to try a black licorice cotton candy. It's just shooting on the side. No cotton candy, it's just melting. Oh, oh, wait, wait. All right, well, again, it's one of those situations where did it create floss? Yeah, it created a little floss, but it's very depressing. Literally, this is so sad. It's not very much floss. Let's taste it. Oh! It does not taste like anise. It tastes disgusting. It tastes like burnt sugar. Oh my gosh, I need to go rinse my mouth. I need to go cleanse my palate. This is the worst tasting one that we have made. Cotton candy? More like cotton candy. You guys get it. This is a no-no. A poo-poo, bye-bye. Next up, Swedish Fish. I honestly cannot remember if I've tried to cotton candy these before. So if I have, I apologize. I've completely forgotten. Okay, so let's read about these. The number one ingredient on the back is sugar. So I'm hoping that this will work. In we go. Oh, it's just splattering. Three pieces of floss. Womp, womp. Swedish fish candy created uh, about 10 little sugar flosses for us. I think this is a fail, but we're gonna give it a little taste. Here's, here's the one little piece of fluff it made. Mm, flavor's okay. It's not as good as the real deal though, guys. Swedish fish candy, way better. Oh, well. 
Last but not least, trolleys. We're gonna be trying these gummy sour candies. My boyfriend Mike loves these. He loves anything sour gummy chews. So I've cut up a bunch of them. They're all chopped up together, so we're just gonna get a combo flavor here. Willy cotton candy, willy cotton candy. We shall see. Here we go. Whoa, it's shooting around. Not so much making the floss, but just shooting out crystals. And they're hot. It's not very pleasant. All right, but not really making kind of candy. This last candy was anticlimactic, and I would not say it makes cotton candy well. It made two hairs here. I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> There's smoke coming out of there. This machine has been used and abused. I mean, we have tested so many candies in this machine. <laughs> Smoky, smoky. It started to smell so good in here as the trolleys were heating up and melting down, but now they smell burnt. And now there's smoke coming out of the machine. Okay, so we're gonna give this machine a break because it's smoking and smells like fire. But all right, that does it for today's video. We tried so many different new candies that I've never tried to cotton candy before. We had some wins, we had some fails. We found hard candies, usually cotton candy better than other candies, and candies that use natural sugar, usually cotton candy. The most surprising candy for me were the high chews because usually gummy candies don't make very good cotton candies, but that one did, so that was a real cool one. So you guys, let me know in the comments down below what other kinds of candy should I try to cotton candy and which one today was your favorite. I think I was the most surprised by the high chews, but my favorite one, honestly, was the Tic Tacs because that one surprised me and it was just so bizarre to have a Tic Tac, like a minty cotton candy. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and if you'd like to watch another video, you can click up here or up here. quite a mess. I'm gonna go clean this up. This is gonna take me a minute.